Ty decided to join us, so he'll be in and out of, don't kiss me. He'll be in and out of the frame. Anyway, today is a wrap up 2023 and look to 2024. I get a lot of salespeople that set goals and they wanna hit like really good numbers. And so today I wanted to give three secrets of six figure sales earners, so top earners, um, on what they do. The first catch here is these are secrets, but they're not really secrets. It's kind of clickbaity, but I, I will stand by the secrets label because every time I coach salespeople, they're always looking for like the magic word or the magic thing to say, like the one touch close. They're looking for some trick to get high closing ratio, ratios or to help convince more people to buy whatever they're selling. What I found out is like top earners, they actually don't have any tricks. They might be good at their craft, but in terms of what they say, it's not some magical thing, which just actually makes sense in the world of sports too. Like most people that are really good at sports at a high level actually just do the fundamentals really, really, really well. I mean, there's talent involved too, but having the basic fundamentals is actually more important to success than some kind of trick. And so if you're looking for some kind of magic word to say or something like that, you'll be kind of disappointed because these are really obvious things you should, you know you should be doing that you're not already doing. Secret number one. The first secret is treating your clients as you would like to be treated. And I'm gonna give a specific example of this. So one of our one of our top earners in our company, one thing he does for every client, he buys them a specific gift that they would like. This obviously can't apply to all sales, high ticket sales it should apply to, but it's really interesting. Like he is our top referrer. He gets more referrals than anybody else. And a lot of people ask, like, what are you doing to get your, your top referrals? Like, how are you taking care of your clients? What are you doing? And literally the only thing I see him doing different than everybody else, as soon as the sale happens, the next day he goes to like the store and buys a specific gift that that client would like and gives it to him. So it's very specialized and it's the next day, it's a 24 hour follow-up. And so like one thing he'll do is olive oil. On um, this one client like really like cooking, he found this like really unique olive oil and gave it to him. And that like meant, that was like the client raved about that and gave a bunch of referrals. Maybe someone likes a specific chocolate he went and go went and bought that specific or he saw like in the house he's very like he's very observant in the house like what do they have what do they like this person was like chocolate holics he went and bought like a really nice chocolate set for this person personalized meaningful gifts is how he treat like that's how he would want to be treated and that's how he treats others most sales people miss out on that because they're so eager to sell or convince or to buy someone they forget like the empathy part of it and whether that manifests itself in gifts or good customer service that's the first thing i've noticed for top earners like real genuine top earners is they really actually care about their client and go above and beyond to help them have a customer experience like they would like to have. Number two, follow up. This is one of those ones that everybody knows they should do, but they don't often do. So many times people want to get like a one touch close or like just focus on the next sale. Like that's very common, especially in the direct sales industry, but especially for high ticket sales, diligent follow up is super helpful. So like one thing that I do is I make sure I save the client's phone number in my thing. Like when I'm in with the client after I'm wrapping up the sale or even during the sale, I'm like, hey, or if they've said no, or they said I need to think about it, it's cool. Well, let's do this. I'm gonna send you my number. As you questions come up, you're gonna be able to text me and just get live answers. So I'm here to help serve you. So I'll get their number and I'll text them my name and number so they can save it in their phone. And I've noticed that like personal, that direct connection has really helped me, one, help people, but also just gives me better closing ratio because people know I'm, I'm not one and done. Like I'm here, I'm giving out my personal number. They can reach out me for anything, questions, whether they go sales or not. Texting is how I follow up with customers. Yours might be email, it might be like stopping by, but like having a follow-up process is gonna go a very long way on helping you get more clients, earn more, and just serve people better in 2024. Number three, or second to last one. This one is very obvious, but it's like probably the biggest secret sauce and it's confidence. This is why you have new reps that will come out of the gate and just do really well. Cause a lot of times reps, especially like in solar, they're so super excited and they're confident about the product and what they're doing. And that enthusiasm is what sells. It's actually not the product or service. Obviously they have a good product and service, but like that confidence and enthusiasm is what gets people to sign on the dotted line. Oftentimes sales reps either get jaded because they have poor experiences with their company or their customers have poor experience or maybe they're tired or whatever like sales at the end of the day is a transfer of emotion we make decisions from the emotional part of our brain not our logical and so if you're not 100 positive 100 confident in what you're doing and helping people that will come through your clients will feel that and be less likely to buy this is probably the number one like base layer thing you can work on foundational thing your confidence in yourself confidence in your product and just having positive energy if you're enjoyable to be around people want to 
to be around you, that bleeds into like a higher income earning potential. Every top earner I've worked with has that positive go-getter energy and it just exudes out of them. It's like they're a magnetic personality. And so that's one thing I would say, a cure-all. If you work on that, it solves a lot of problems. Number four and the last one, and this one is the most obvious one, but it's just plain old hard work. Top earners just put in more hours than everybody else. I can't tell you how many times a sales rep's put up big numbers and people have reached out to them, hey, what are you saying? What are you doing? Da, 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 da. A lot of times people get off that call really disappointed because they just realize they're just working more hours than they are. Whether that's in follow-up or whether that's in learning or whether that's in just like more prospecting hours or more hours with people. Like if you just work harder, spend more time at your craft, you're going to make more money. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. That's probably the number one thing people miss out on and why they fall short of their goals is because they, they're working more than they think they are and they're not working as much as they should. So to summarize it up, top earners, they are probably good at their craft, but it's these other things that everybody can do that can help you be a top earner. And that's working hard and being confident in your product or, and confident in, in what you're doing and in your skill set. That, those are the two like soft skills. The two hard skills are follow up, really good follow up, and then just taking care of your clients how you would want to be treated if you were a client, right? And, the example I gave was, was gifts and there's plenty of other you, others you can do. So excited. I think 2024 is going to be a great year. It will separate those that want it and don't want it because I think it's going to be a tougher year financially. The back half of 2023 definitely has done that. And I imagine that's not going away anytime soon. If you're interested in a sales position, we're hiring. We love people with that positive energy that are out there to help make the world a better place. Appreciate you watching this. Like and subscribe wherever the buttons are. And uh, we'll see you next time.